There is something soothing, something relaxing, calming, when sitting in front of an aquarium, watching brightly colored creatures that gracefully swim through the water, and listening to the water bubbles that are lightly splashing on the surface. I wonder, how advanced we got in the field of science? And now we even can make golden fishes and various colorful fishes in the lab? According to our desire? Actually you are right, as it was the beautiful view that is only visible to us. But behind that view, something is hidden going on. Only mindful man can able to see through that. I will tell you about culturing the colorful fishes for the aquarium in another day, it's a very hurtful and painful process. But today I will explain you, how this genetical modification works, and you will understand, how they fooling you, saying that they can do anything with science. A caterpillar that is resistant to numerous insecticides and difficult to control, has been observed damaging various beneficial plants in high numbers. Plants like mean, corn, cotton, peanut, pea, sorghum, soybean, strawberry, sweet potato, tomato, are affected highly from this caterpillar or bollworm. This problem created much concern as their number getting increasing very rapidly and foods get destroyed, so if it was continued, then there would food shortage nationwide. When various chemicals were used there to kill the worm, it even poisons the fruit, and lead to kill all the other essential creatures too. Suddenly, a strange thing was seen. The caterpillar was found collapsing day by day, and their number was decreasing. A disease that was killing those worms. A Japanese biologist was investigating the cause of this sudden collapse disease named Soto disease, that was killing large populations of those worms. In 1901, he found the bacterium Bacillus thuringiensis as the cause of this disease. And thereafter from 1920, the farmers started to use this bacteria, as a pesticide. And the caterpillar's attack got decreased. Later scientists found that, when the moth or caterpillar ate the plants containing that bacteria, the toxin produced by the bacteria got transferred to the stomach of that worms. And in its stomach it turned into a crystal of protein. That leads to death of the worm. This toxin named Bt toxin, was found safe inside the bacteria but it affects larvae of moths, caterpillar, beetles, cotton bollworms, and flies. From that observation, scientists came across an idea. They think, what if we take the gene, that caused the production of the toxin inside the bacteria, and then insert that gene to the plants, so that the toxin would produce inside the tree also. They did that, and the experiment got successful and these genetically modified plant also started to produce the Bt toxin, and when worm ate the plant, the worm got the disease and thus these plant got safe from the attack. Today these type of genetically modified crops including potato and cotton, are planted throughout the world. You think you own this world through science and technology? You have read how the scientist made the genetically modified cotton crops, in your biology textbook and just memorize it for the school exam? But have you ever thought that, what you would do if that bacteria never showed up here on planet Earth? Do you ever find the gene, to insert it in plant? Can all of you humankind gather and make the bacteria to produce this special toxin, that only turns into crystal form inside those particular insect's stomach? Remember, whichever you do in science or in anything, it only happens if Allah gives permission for its occurrence, or facilitates it to occur. 